podcast on today. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? What's up? It's sunny outside. I'm trying to hold this for later. Put it in my pocket. That way, uh, when it gets cold, I got something to hold on to. Yeah, it never gets cold. Could <laughs> you imagine going into last week's game and get that many, that many targets? Um, no, I think you just go in. You just kind of prepare for anything. You know what I'm saying? You just want to know the playbook. Uh, and what the game plan we have going in by the back of hand, so that way if the ball comes, you're at the right assignment, the right depth, and everything like that. So. And as it developed, what was it like to be really the main man at that time? Uh, man, it's just, uh, I think at the end of the day, man, it comes down to, to trust, and I just want to make sure that, because there's some plays, obviously, I wish I had back. And uh, if your team's going to go out there and put trust in you and put the half, I mean, there's only one ball, so if it comes your direction, I want to make sure that I can uh, do right by my guys. So. How does that trust work in this building when you're with Jared? And- like that. Uh, I mean, I think it starts out here in practice. Um, I think that's uh, you come out here and you, you rep what you got going in the game plan, but uh, you're detailed with it. Um, and I think that's what we try to go out here and do both before, during, and after, um, just to make sure that we got the fine details of the little stuff. Because when you get the details down out here, you feel more comfortable in the game. So I'm just trying to get as many reps as we can. I believe between the time you were sold on this as your, your location and you signed here to, to now, how, how have you seen the role develop from what you maybe envisioned originally to, to now? Um, I think you just, man, I don't think you ever uh, train with like a limit on, on what you can do. Um, I think, you, I think you, train, you train as hard as you can to, to reach all your highest goals, you know what I'm saying? So um, I think I just, just kept practicing and, and training as best as I could so that way in the, in the event that I was put in a situation where my team was trusting me with the ball, um, no matter whether it's once, zero time, whether it's a block, anything, whether it's a turn in the ball, like, it doesn't matter what it is, I can go out there and perform. So. Speaking of the training, can you, can you just kind of explain your post-practice routine? Usually goes in about a half hour or so after practice. Um, Where did that start and what exactly are you you doing in that those minutes? Um, a lot of it is just seeing the details of some of the, uh, you know, you can only, some routes, you know what I'm saying, you can only run so many times, but just being able to see it and track it and get the feel. And uh, to be completely honest, um, the work ethic for as, as far as many jugs I catch actually came from Amon Ra because uh, he uh, he told me that he caught 200 balls a day, and uh, which is a lot. So this off season, I challenged him. He was like he's like he caught he, he caught 202. So I was like all right, I'm gonna catch 215. And like every day, I was catching jugs in the back of my head, thinking that he was gonna catch jugs. And after practice every day, he catches 202. So it's almost like a challenge. Like you, how many did you do today? 202. I, I did 203. How many did you do? I did 250. We just we just actually got that from him. But uh um. Yeah, just doing that, just uh, trying to be consistent. I think uh, just making it a habit to go out there and just do a little, get a little bit better um, every day I can. So I mean, I better catch 200 balls in practice, but maybe I can see 200 balls. So that way, when you get the one drop or you get the one in me or anything happens, you have 200 or 199 reps on top of that of you getting it right, so you can let that go and trust yourself. So you're out there literally ca- counting every every rep there? Yeah, yeah. I'm count- well, I'm counting it because I got to hit the number because I know he's going to hit that number. <laughs> um, he, he never, if, you, if you ever look, man, he's, he's always on the first ones on the jug now because he knows how long it takes. But he, he gets every single one of them in. So, um, yeah, you try to get it. You, I'm trying to hit that number every day, um, depending on how much time we got. But ideally, I'm trying to hit that number if I can. So. Is it a good thing that you're doing that with another young guy and maybe helps both of you guys grow together? Uh, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I think just, just – that that man's a he's a competitor, man. Um, he's not, not only that he's he's got incredible work ethic. So um, that I mean, it just it, to be honest, he helped me. You know what I'm saying? In my head, I, I always catch punts or a little bit here and there, but I mean, I was probably around like the 75 to 100 mark. And he said, I mean, I'm catching 200. I was like, you know what? I appreciate that because I was selling myself short, um, and, and because he was so has such a good habits and work ethic like that and dedication, he ended up helping me. So he actually helped me grow. Sounds wild to say, but you're. Probably not that far off from doubling your career production here in this, you know, first stretch of games. So where, where's your confidence level at in yourself and, and within the offensive scheme? Uh, I mean, I think it's still continuing to grow because, um, like I, I told uh, Dan, and I'm going to work, you know, short and immediate, deep, whatever you guys need from me, I'm going to work at it. So uh, um, it is, it is, it's a, it's a lot more plays and a lot more reps that I've been getting. But um, I'm glad to finally get to put the tools that I've been training and uh, to put it out there on the field and just see how it works out. So um, it's growing every every game. It's, it's just like this team, man. We're we're growing. We're just getting better and better and better on the uphill battle. When it clicks, it's going to snowball. So does, does that kind of build, build on itself? In other words, if you run two, three, four yards, get get some catches, and then you get more. Does it kind of build on itself? Well, absolutely. I mean, just your, your I mean, everybody has the, you know what I'm saying, the first game. I always, always thought, like, after I get hit the first time, like, OK, now, now the game started. Because everybody was aware where you're getting hit the ground, just the first field of contact. but. Um, 
confidence definitely grows after that. I mean, you just as you get more plays, you get more reps, you're going against the defense more, you kind of get back into your toolbox of things that you work on and the jitters, the anxiety, all the, the, the lights and everything kind of tools down or calms down. It just becomes football. So, um, yeah, definitely helps a lot. It kind of goes along with that, but um, Campbell spoke earlier just about the culture and people mm -hmm. buying in and, you know, whether it's veterans, if it's just the energy, uh, if it's something the coaches are pushing, where do you see that coming from? Um, I mean, I think it even starts in the offseason, but man, if you look at the guys that are on the roster, man, we got a, we got a gritty group. Um, and I think it comes even when the, we're in the toughest part of our game, it could be considered the toughest part of our season. We got a group that's continually pushing forward. No matter what the odds are, these guys are going to keep pushing forward. It looks like that in practice, and it carries over to the game. Um, it's got a bunch of gritty guys, man. So um, it's just the mentality of the people in the room, and then it's amplified by the coaches because, like, these are ex-players, gritty coaches, guys that want to win. So um, you just look at the personnel on the team. Um, we're a team that's meant to go out there when the chips are down to keep fighting. So, um, yeah, it's just the mindset, I think, of the, of the people that are here on this team. I think we knew you more for your return skills coming in. You know, the offensive roles seem to kind of eat into that the first couple of games. How, how good was it to get back into that that role uh, in week three? Uh, the return role, I'm sorry? Um, I mean, I, I, I got so much trust in these guys. I think uh, you, don't, you don't force anything, man. You go, you go let your uh, – the guys in front of you, the coaches, man, they, 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 they spend hours here, man. They're developing schemes, finding out what works best, man. And you just you just let the game come to you. You go out there and try to force stuff. And I mean, that's when mistakes start happening. You know what I'm saying? Just come out, do your job. And when the game come, comes to you and the opportunity comes, because it will, just be ready for it. So um, yeah, just just letting the game come to me when it happens, it'll happen. And, I'm, and I got full confidence in the other 10 guys that are in front of me. So. It's kind of a position, though, for an adrenaline junkie, right? That, yeah, that yeah, wonder, like, yeah. I mean, sure, you get some of that at receiver, but do, uh -huh. do you miss? Not returning kicks when you're not doing it. Uh, I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I like to play football. <laughs> so, um, and, but no, I think I think more than anything, man, the adrenaline settles down the more trust you have of the guys in front. The adrenaline is high if you back there and you, you know, you're unsure of yourself. You're unsure of the other ten guys. But like I said, the guys in this room. I mean, there's, we have extra special teams meeting with just the guys. You know what I'm saying, just figuring, hey, what do we need to do, man? So, um, I mean, it's it's so much trust back there. You know what I'm saying? And I look down at the, the jammers. Those guys are like, hey, man, we got you, brother. Like, and I'm like, well, cool, because <laughs> I'm trusting you. So um, it's just cool to have that relayed off. And you got the guys that care about it. So um, yeah, the adrenaline is definitely there, but it, it gets it toned down when you got a lot of trust in the room. So. You catch two passes on that final drive of the game. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you that not only Jared Goff trusts you in those big moments, but in the, in the case of that screen pass, it was dialed up for you. So uh -huh. the coaches obviously showed a, a little bit of faith in you. Uh, man, it's all, and I'm trying to honestly, man. Uh, I, I want to if I can make that in the end, go through four quarters. Cause like I said, this plays that I wish I had back, man. And it means a lot to me for them to come back to me, especially in the beginning. You know, there's we got a drive going. I want to make sure um, I'm not doing anything to stall that, but I'm only helping my team. So uh, for them to come back and trust me to like to keep making plays, man, it's just a it's a testament to what we're trying to do in the building as well, man. We got a bunch of guys that. Um, we come out here and work as hard as we can. So when the game, and Jared told me the same thing, like, man, I'm coming to you. Don't worry about it. Just keep doing your thing. So um, it definitely helps. I just wonder, what does it feel like when you know the ball is coming to you? It's not going anywhere else. You um, have 20 seconds to think about it. That you, you don't. At, the, at that point, man, I'm. I've noticed the game. The more you think about yourself, um, of course, the more anxiety. If you're, you're thinking too, man, I get a more common sensation because I'm not. I'm not trying to catch it for me. I'm trying to win the game for my team so we can win. You know what I'm saying? So like you're you're not even thinking about yourself anymore. Um, I think when you think about yourself, that's when all the mistakes happen. You're worried about your drop, your assignment. But when it goes, man, to go win a game, um, to go win it for your guys, I mean, you're, it's, it's such an outwardly experience, man. You're not even worried about anything that you can. You just, man, let's go find a way to win. Go find a way to win. You're part of finding a way to win as a team. So um, it takes a little bit of that pressure off.